played the game, what is it? She reached underneath, oh. she felt the grooves, knew it was a waffle, and then said, am I allowed to eat it? <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, I love her for that. Love that. Um, Blue Jean Chef is back with us, and we're going to talk about No Mess Belgian Waffle Maker. Now, you can absolutely give us a call, 800-600-1556. What is, we know what waffles are, obviously, but what's a No Mess Waffle Maker? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, no mess, no stress, right? But a waffle, a Belgian waffle, of course, is the waffle with the deep pockets, right? We always love deep pockets, any God. kind, but especially on waffles. And uh, these ones, actually, the problem with waffle makers in the past is that if you don't know exactly how much batter to put in, it overflows all over your counter, yes. which is annoying. So here, what we can do is we can pour our batter in into all four ca cavities, and I love that there are four cavities. And I'm gonna just go a little crazy and go even more batter than I need. So usually you'd stop so that you can still see the corners because it expands. We'll just close it like this because what you'll see is we have two little moats on the side here. And as we close this and that batter expands into the waffle maker, it will overflow, but not onto your counter. It goes into these nice little moats. So you get waffle nuggets. You get these little waffle dippers, and I think they're pretty <laughs> special. But look at these. Like this is a this is a great huge that pitcher of maple syrup. So but look good. at this. And this is why we want the waffles with the deep pockets, right? Because it holds the good stuff, the maple syrup. That is a beautiful waffle. And the thing that is great about this too is that when I've made waffles before in the past, you can make one. Yeah. And then you know, I'm eating. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> or, no. Who's kidding who? Mary would be eating, and I'd be like, ooh, trying quickly to make my I would my split batter. the waffle in half, and then we would both have a little puny waffle. But when you do that with this way, you get four waffles at once. So you can have, you know, your friends, and you can all eat what waffles at the same time. Is now, this that? is a savory waffle. This is a waffle with bacon and cheddar inside. What? So you could do this. You know, you know chicken and waffles, right? That's a classic. Yeah, of course. Classic. So you could do that, uh, a savory waffle here, but this time we put bacon and cheddar in there. The other thing I like to put in sometimes is a little like jalapeno. Yes. You could do jalapeno and do pepper jack cheese. Now you're talking. But you get that beautiful savory waffle. What about if you put falafel in a waffle and then oh it would God. be a fa waffle? A falafel waffle? Or a walafel. <laughs> okay, stop it. Um, we do have colors available here. We have three colors specifically. We've got black, red, and blue that you're seeing on the table. We also have five easy payments of $5.99. It's the first day presented on those five easy payments, but the comparable retail is $55. So I'm already saving $25 off of the retail price, but take a look. There's your red, there's your black, and there's your blue. If you want the blue, there are fewer than 200 remaining. Again, we are in 58 million homes. Right. So what a fun gift to give to the person that loves to spend time in the kitchen or who just likes to eat. Exactly. And the thing for me, the holidays are all, I always bring the waffle maker out around the holidays. I don't know why, because it just, it, you have time, a little more time. Yeah. It's fun to do. You, you can know, get creative. You can get creative. In fact, there are recipes included in the manual for this waffle maker, Ooh. but you can also use a really easy, crusty um, box mix that I really yes. like that makes Crisp, crusty little waffles make, really like, especially easily. on the edges they're crusties yes exactly yeah. and uh, I use that a lot but also check out the basics because I developed a waffle recipe from scratch that I'm very proud of it has one ingredient that has a like way more of that ingredient than you would even think possible it's not a typo it's true and it gives you nice crispy waffles which Ooh. are my favorites yeah you like crispy yeah. waffles okay why do you like the soft ones I don't know if I have a preference I eat them all <laughs> No, here's, I was just trying to decide, and I thought, yeah, I don't think I can. Here's what I'm talking about with Ooh. the uh, little nuggets here that come off into the moat. You see, now we don't have to worry about that. It's not on our counter. And then when we take the waffle out, we can simply trim them or eat them, whichever you wish, or a little bit of both. But I kind of think of it as, you know, if you're making the waffles, then you get first dibs on the yes, little you do. waffle nuggets there. This is a pumpkin waffle. So, Are you is surprised that a pumpkin that I... waffle? Yes. Are you surprised I made a pumpkin waffle? I am shocked. Yeah, well, I didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was absolutely floored to learn on your live stream on your Facebook page recently mm -hmm. that you are not a huge, huge fan of the pumpkin. I eat pretty much everything in the world. Yeah. I'm not so loving the pumpkin. Well, that... I try. I try to love the pumpkin. Marshmallows I really, really don't like. You but, don't like marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Well, that's all right. Can I have yours? Absolutely. Perfect. I, I'm very happy to share. Now, you could go a little decadent with your pumpkin waffle, and you could do a little caramel. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Hang so, on. Pumpkin waffle's not hard to make. You simply take some pumpkin puree and some pumpkin pie spice, and you mix that into your waffle batter, 
and there you have it. Um, is now those look good enough to share? May I share <laughs> I them? them? I would give them all. <laughs> I was like, well, she, I know she doesn't want them. Um, I'm going to actually grab this plate because we have one of our original <laughs> in the kitchen members. Look, it's the original QVC2 famous arm. Would you like a whole plate of pumpkin waffles, famous arm? <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> of the thumb. Um, thank you. Enjoy your waffles. Uh, famous Arm has to keep his strength up too. Yes, exactly. What have you made so, next? Well, this is the same. This same is, batter. So this is okay. the pumpkin batter. We put a few pecans in there as well. Mm. And then you close it. Now, very easy to operate machine. Yes. You simply plug it in. There's no buttons or anything do to do. You plug it in. When the light turns green, the red light indicates you have plugged it in. Okay. When the light turns green, that's telling you that it's now it's time to add some batter. And How then, do I clean out the goopies on the inside if there are any? You, well, I usually, just, I, honestly, I take a paper towel or even a tea towel and I just kind of beat it. Well, yeah, I do. I kind of like <laughs> flick it and all the little crumbs go flying off. And then you can just go in with a paper towel and give it a little wipe. But you'll see over here, the way to, to know whether your waffle is done or not yes. is to look for the steam. If there is steam still coming, it's not done. Oh. When, you, when you stop seeing steam, that's when you think, oh, my waffle's ready. But you'll see the lights cycle on and off again. That's too. fantastic. Okay, so five easy payments of $5.99. I also wanted to tell you that the cord is almost three feet long. So you get a lot of flexibility with your outlets in the kitchen. The footprint on your counter is 12 and a half inches long. I almost said feet, goodness. 12 and a half <laughs> inches long by 11 and a half inches wide. And it weighs about six pounds. So if you want to leave it out on your counter, it'll fit there easily. If you want to tuck it underneath the cupboard, it's one that I can lift down there easily. But K47415 is that moment at the holiday season where you get to turn your kitchen into a fancy hotel breakfast service. So if you want to make it that way, you can. But let's say in the morning you have one egg, a little bit of flour, right. and some leftover fruit ingredients on the floor. Yes, you what are you going to make? For breakfast. I mean, it's such an easy, easy thing to make for breakfast, and it's a huge crowd pleaser. Who doesn't like waffles? Seriously. Waffles are a huge crowd pleaser, and you can put anything you want in them. These are apple pie spice uh, waffles. Oh, yes. So you just throw some apples on top. The maple syrup, of course. For me, you have to have the maple syrup. I mean, I love the maple syrup. Come I'm on. Canadian, you know. I mean, it, Blue I Jean do? Chef, you got to have some maple syrup standing by. Um, we have the black, the blue, and the red. All three color choices are still available at this time. I'm going to check my first. But it machine. couldn't be easier to do on your own. I love all the little waffle um, look edges. That, oh, hello. So look how beautiful those are. Take a now look. Now, here down are the little. Here. The little um, Side, you know, the side dishes, so to speak. Yes. Uh, they are just going to be cut off. But look how beautiful that waffle is. Look how it's crispy. Ooh, the whole. You want to bring it here? Sure. I'll empty a space hot, for you. Hot. There we go. Knife. And then we can cut off the little extras, but they're not on your counter. You've made no mess, and instead you have beautiful, crispy. Yes! I love the crisps. Those are the little dunkers on the side. Look at that. So then when everybody else is eating their waffle, the chef gets a dunker. So good. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Oh, so fun. Okay, sorry. I know we have to wrap up. Um, K47415, I'm just all fours. K47415, this is from Cook's Essentials. It's a no mess Belgian waffle maker and it's on five easy payments of $5.99. Great gift, lots of fun. Thinking I might need to pick up the black today. Oh, the black is nice. Hmm. Um, Meredith is going to come back with our gadget drawer item. Yeah.